Okay, here we go. My first uh, Dark Eldar unit, my Cabalite Warriors, or Wasteland Raiders, as they're currently being called. Um, starting with a uh, very thin undercoat of uh, Vallejo Chocolate Brown. And uh, the reason for this is because the next layer is dry brushed. And uh, dry brushing doesn't cover everything. Some of the previous layer, layer comes through, and I needed a, something to give a warm tone to it. Now the main color of these guys is Vallejo model color dark blue gray, but I mixed in a bit of chocolate brown uh, into it, and um, the reason for that is because I, I want a, a wasteland raider look. So this is all going to be about dirt. It's all going to be about rust and things like that. And the chocolate brown basically dulls the uh, dark blue gray, um, but it does pose a few problems, which I will. Uh, explain shortly. Now to that color I mixed in some Vallejo Game Color Electric Blue. Now that I dulled the color I need to lighten it up a bit for some uh, contrast and I just don't want to lighten up the dull color because it's going to look a bit too flat so I have to add a, a bit of color to it. And the problem here is Normally, when people highlight, um, they're always worried. They tell me, "Oh, I don't. I'm afraid I won't mix the same color twice." And I always say, "Don't worry about it. You know, it won't matter in the end once you paint like ten figures." This is different because I'm not just mixing darker and lighter shades. I'm mixing different tones by adding brown and now adding a very light blue. And it's extremely difficult to get the same tone twice on each and every figure. So. Uh, I'm going to have to change this paint scheme up for the rest of the figures in the project. But continuing on with what I have here, uh, next highlight is uh, mixed to the previous mixture, uh, mixing in some Vallejo Wolf Gray, which is a very uh, cool light gray. And repeating this process twice, and as you see, both of these are layered. Uh, which helps cover up the previous dry brushing layer. I got the speed of the dry brushing, but still the clean look of layering. And working towards the uh, the natural highlights and also the uh, working up towards the edges of all the armor plates. The last highlight is just a quick edging done by mixing some white into the previous mix. And this is applied um, just on very small spots on the very tips of the edges of the armor. And this um, really helps the armor to pop. It adds a real good amount of contrast and uh, it's very easy to overdo this. Um, if you highlight too much with this layer, it loses the effect. It becomes another highlight color rather, rather than just an edging here. So just very small spots with the tip of the brush. I don't want to overdo it and put it on all the edges or I lose the whole effect. Now I need a bit more shade and so I'm going back with the chocolate brown color and adding a bit of shadow to the figure. Um, again, this is all about weathering uh, this project. So. This blue-gray color I used, if I was to shade it normally, I'd use probably some German gray mixed with some blue. But I'm not trying just to shade it, I'm trying to add the weathering effect to it as well. So that's why I'm using brown instead of a blue-gray mixture. And on top of uh, the chocolate brown, going back with very small amounts of Vallejo model color orange brown. There's going to be a lot of rust being worked into this uh, project and uh, while I'm not rusting these particular figures up too much, uh, I still want that color to carry throughout the whole army. So just adding very small spots here and there of the orange brown um, in the cracks here and there and wherever there's a large concentration of the chocolate brown. Now working on to the cloth area, which is very easy, simply painted. Um, starting with the undercoat of model color hull red mixed with some model color uh, SS camo black brown. And as you see here, trying to work in a lot of red on the figure. Again, going to be working a lot of rust into the figure later, 
and I want a lot of warmth in the other areas. Um, the main base color for the cloth is uh, model color flat brown, again, which is a very warm brown, has a, a good amount of uh, good amount of red in it. <clears throat> And to highlight that, using some model color saddle brown. It's a lighter brown color, has a good uh, hint of orange to it. And there's not a lot of cloth on these particular Capulet Warriors. This one has the most. So this is a very simple, just three-step highlighting painting process. Other figures, like the Witches, that have a lot more of this color. It'll take a few more steps, a few more mixes. But uh, this guy has the most. Pretty much all the other figures, it's just hands and... Uh, feet and that's about it. Now working on the other cloth areas like the loin cloths and bits of rags uh, want those red again to work in a lot of red to the figure starting with my standard undercoat of model color hull red and to that mixing in a bit of flat red. Now I don't want a really intense red again sticking with the the faded look the weathered look of a wasteland Wastelander. So I'm not trying to work all the way up to pure flat red. I don't want a very bright red. So this is just a little flat red mixed in. And then coming up in just a second, going to be mixing in a bit more flat red. Uh, but I'm not working up to pure flat red. So here we go with the second uh, flat red highlight layer. Now to highlight this, I'm going to mix in a bit of Panzer Ace's Highlight Flesh Color, which is my normal highlight for flesh. That's coming up right now. And uh, again, I want a faded look. This is not a color I would normally use for uh, painting red, but the Highlight Flesh has a slight brown. It's very warm, it's very light color, and gives me a good faded red look, which is what I'm looking for. Um, moving up to the weaponry. Um, this is uh, model air color steel mixed in with a bit of uh, Panzer Aces dark rust. Uh, this is going to get some improvement uh, later on. Uh, there's only a, a little few bits highlighting here with um, some bit more steel added. But these figures don't have too much metallics on them. The vehicles will have a lot more and I'll have to come up with a different scheme at that point. Uh, the other areas of weaponry are painted with uh, Panzer, excuse me, model color German Gray and then highlighted with uh, Iraqi Sand. Again, it's all about the fading on this project, so I would normally use a light gray to highlight this color instead I'm using Iraqi Sand, which is more brown to give a more faded look to the, uh, to the weaponry. Now for a bit of rust, I'm just stippling on some Panzer Aces uh, Dark Rust and that's going to be followed with a little bit of light rust. And stippling on the sword here and also the German gray areas is getting a wash of the uh, dark rust as well. Again, this is going to need a bit of improvement. I'm not too happy with the, the results of these colors. I'm not sure what I want to do with it yet. The last thing of importance to paint is the flesh. Going for a slightly alien pale flesh look by using game color pale flesh mixed with just a tiny drop of uh, hex lichen. Um, since hex, hex lichen is such a dark color and pale flesh is so light, you just need a very, very small drop to make this mixture. And to highlight that, just mixing in more pale flesh. Normally if I was using um, painting up a single figure, I'd be using a lot more layers, but uh, speed is of the essence on these uh, many, many guys. And now I um, believe I have here, again, adding a bit more pale flesh to the mix. This is almost straight uh, pale flesh. And you can see it's being painted on a, a smaller and smaller area each time, so the painting goes uh, faster. And then we got uh, straight pale flesh. You can see working 
up to the cheekbones, uh, bridge of the nose, top of the lip, a little bit on the uh, brows of the figure. And the last highlight, mixing in a, just a, a bit of white to the pale flesh. And again, very small spots, so I get the good contrast. Just a spot on each cheek, top of the nose, a little bit on the bridge of the bridge of the eyebrows. Um, maybe on the chin, can't remember if the chin needed a highlight on this figure. But uh, then just painting some of the other accoutrements on the belts, and that is it. I got 10 Cabalite Warriors all done, finally. So this project does need some improvement because trying to carry this throughout uh, on all these figures with the mixes I've been using has been way too difficult trying to match it every single time because since I'm mixing up different tones I had a bit too much brown on that uh, first dry brush layer it t totally affects the the tone of the figure or then mixing in a bit of the electric blue uh, again changes the tone entirely if I don't get it quite right so I need to simplify the scheme um, hopefully eliminate a step or two. Um, I'm hoping to keep roughly the same color scheme going on because I don't want to really have to strip these guys and repaint them because uh, that would uh, that would be a sad, sad day. But uh, there you have it. The first unit's done. Uh, the next unit to be painted, I don't know exactly which that will be, but uh, we will see shortly. And um, hopefully looking the same, but with a, a bit more of a simplified scheme. But at least I have one unit done of my Wasteland Raiders. Thanks for watching.